Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose, August 29, 2012, 1.43 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Topic update on Mexican drug murders. And it's sad. Mexican drug wars still in high gear. And a Mexican official has said if Mexico's new president, I think his name is Felipe, had not made the drug wars his top priority, they would have worked out their own problems between the drug lords and turf, and the fighting would have been over. Now, I don't know if this man said this because he's truly concerned, or if he's paid to say this out of fear for him and his family because the drug cartels have on many occasions killed whole families including small children to keep someone silent or someone who infringed it could be any number of these things or even someone who is a member of another cartel um, 12 people die every day in Juarez, Mexico, across from El Paso, Texas. 12 people every day are murdered on the streets, and this does not include all the other border towns. And it all started across the Rio Bravo, Mexican, or Rio Grande, American River across from Brownsville, Texas and has moved all the way from Brownsville across from Brownsville to Tijuana across from San Diego. Um, counted and found so far the number has reached over 60,000 people dead, murdered, since 2000, late 2006, and probably at least that many dead, but never found. And uh, there are not, or there are not all Mexicans, by the way, that are dying. The drug lords use people as muse, people from Guatemala, San Salvador, El Salvador, and many of the other South American countries that come through that region looking for a trip to America. 50,000 girls alone are missing per year from South America. 50,000. This should give you a, a, a better number or a different number on the total people who may have been killed or murdered so far. So drugs in Mexico brings $32 billion a year to the drug cartels. So why don't you know this? Why has a news media blackout been in place? Who wants this problem hidden? There are lots of unanswered questions, and especially on how to solve the problem. I cannot comment on this just on hearsay, and uh, I have to verify my contacts before I play a name game or a blame game with a name, and uh, I'm just not going to do it, because if I can't verify it, then I won't. Um, but I will go out on a limb and say one thing. I believe that many Jews who voted for Obama will not vote for Obama again. So where will these extra votes come from? Your guess is good as mine. The only way you can find any kind of update on the Mexican drug wars is simply on a documentary channel. Why are they the only source? And if you look closely, even the documentaries have slowed down quite a bit. There was one boy 
He's 18 years old. He said he personally witnessed some members of a drug cartel take young men, he did not say how many, between the ages of 18 and 22 years old, and one by one, and I thought I would hear this only from Iran or Afghanistan or Pakistan or Somalia, but this boy said one by one, they took these young men ages between 18 and 22 and actually took a chainsaw and tortured these, these gentlemen by cutting off one leg, then another, one arm, then another. And of course, they all died, um, but he said that they were all alive when it started. And they put so much fear in them because they did it one at a time. That That's horrible. This young man who saw this said that wasn't for him. It scared, he said, I won't tell you exactly what it scared, but basically it scared the hell out of him. So he quit. He left. He is out and he's away from it and he is in hiding. He said he cannot carry through with these tortures and still have a conscience. And he said, I just watched. And uh, so I guess we all can do the most we can do. We need to. We need to pray daily for the citizens who cry out every single day for peace. You would think that these were the peace-loving Muslims who are truly want to know Christ. But these are just citizens in the state or the country of Mexico who wants simple peace and they can't have it because the drug lords now outnumber the military and the police and the money that comes in far exceeds the money that is spent by that country to fight that drug problem with the cartels. So needless to say, your prayers are greatly needed for Mexico and for the innocent people and the citizens who want to live a normal life. And one last thing, they said they fully expect Juarez will be a ghost town before long if this continues. Jody Wolf exposed.